Live from the historic hand building in St. Paul, it's the Haberdashers Couch. I'm Kendrick, inviting you to the show, starring Jaime and Dorset, featuring Todd Walker, also featuring Amy Charlo. And now, ladies and gentlemen, here's Jaime. Happy Friday and welcome to another show of the Haberdashers Couch. We don't have to pay you a hypnotist to talk to you. <laughs> Amy, how are you? I'm doing great. It's nice to see it's always a breath of fresh air when we have you in the store and here on the couch today. Thank you. We are talking, sort of, are we demystifying we the are, myths about? Yes, we are. No, sis. Yes, we are demystifying the, or mythifying Mi myth the, the myths. Right, mythifying. De demythifying the myths about hypnosis. This is my busy season, as you know. I've right. been doing tons yeah. and tons of post-proms, post-grad parties, and I get asked the same questions over and over, and it's just like, it's like it embedded in our culture. It's like all of these memes about hypnosis. They're in our cartoons. Right. I mean, they're in Scooby Doo. They're in Pokemon. Right. They're in like they're in like every soap opera, every right. sitcom. Film, film, and and media. Yep. yep. Have have given us a perspective, right? One, right. Maybe one perspective of what it means to be either hypnotized or uh, hypnosis as a form of entertainment. Correct. Versus. Mm -hmm hypnotherapy, which is another form, clinically speaking, right. that you know about. Right, <laughs> right, right. And, 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 so, and I do both, so right, I have so, kind of one foot in each world. Right. And I get a lot of crap from both of them. Like, my stage hypnotist friends are like, why are you doing that boring hypnotherapy stuff? And, right. And my hypnotherapist friends are like, oh my goodness, you are you are cheapening our, our art by, by taking it to the stage. There, there, there has been governments that have looked into mm -hmm. The what has happened to people? Is there anything that happens to people during and after hypnosis, entertainment hypnosis, that we should be concerned about? So what we're going to talk about is the four big myths. Okay. First one is hypnosis is a truth serum. Yes, everybody thinks that. That is so funny. The truth is, is in hypnosis, you are super relaxed, your subconscious is very forward, mm -hmm. and your inner mind, your emotional self, is there to protect you. Right. People in hypnosis, in a hypnotic state, yeah. they will lie, lie, lie wow. to protect themselves. Yeah. If, if I was going to yeah. get the truth, if I was going to try to weasel the truth of, out of you, <laughs> I, would, I would do it. Good luck. I'm I know, I know. Really. Yeah, yeah. I would do yeah. it in your waking state. I wouldn't do it in the hypnotic state. Yeah. You, you, it's really, yeah, people in hypnosis can totally lie. So you're in control. You're totally in control. You you can't manipulate or motivate anybody nope. uh, adversely. Nope, I and can't make them do anything against their moral yeah. or ethical beliefs. And let's just say stage uh, uh, hypnosis is a voluntary Tier yep. program. So already that person has volunteered to be there. So that just makes everything more easy. I think. Right. Yeah, right. Yeah, All yeah. hypnosis is even the yeah. clinical hypnosis. It's right. you're making a deal with their subconscious mind. It's like, right. hey, I'm going to throw this idea out right. at you, and they're going to either accept it or reject it. Right. And they're in a very relaxed state. And so when something that, um, and we know that the the mind literally works differently. The brain works differently in a relaxed state. So if it's something that's acceptable, like right. yeah, all right. It would be good for me to quit smoking. Maybe I'll do that. So, so if I if I get involved, if, if I say I got I got a five o'clock dinner appointment, can I get trapped in hypnosis? Oh, can you get trapped in can hypnosis? Can you let me out of the room? How do you let me? Oh, out of okay, the room? all yeah. right. People always think that one too. They I keep getting asked, can I get trapped in a hypnotic state? And you absolutely cannot get trapped in a hypnotic state. Now there is something called an Esdale state yeah. where people who especially have a lot going on in their lives mm -hmm. and they're really stressed out, when right. they go into hypnosis, they kind of want to stay there. Uh -huh. And it sort of looks like they're stuck in hypnosis, but they're not. And you just kind of talk them back gently out of it and they're they're totally fine. You cannot get trapped the in hypnosis. The Svengali effect. The Svengali effect? Yeah. You, oh, oh, yes. like from the- Yeah, um, the, the, the yep. sinister- Yes. Yeah. Yes, from the um, from the um, that um, that serial that was yes, put out. Yes, TV. Yes. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, 1984 mm -hmm. or 1894 novel. Yep. yep. Yeah. And so what they're saying is that uh, that in, in hypnosis, hypnosis, you can mm -hmm. ignore suggestions. 
right? Yes. Great. Okay. Yes. You can reject great, them. Great. Or you can, and, and at any point, you can pop out of hypnosis. You yeah. are not stuck in hypnosis. How, how, how long are the, the, you talk about change modifications. Mm -hmm. How long are the change modifications? Multiple exposures, one time only. What is it? Um, believe it or not, it has to do with the expectation you mm -hmm. set up. Mm -hmm. I do, when I do a smoking cessation, about 85% of my clients quit in one session because I have told them they can quit in one session. Right. And if you tell them that they need to eight sessions, then they won't quit until the eighth session. Ah. People have done experiments with right. this. So a lot of the times you can just do one and done. Right, right. It's great. Uh, and what, what is this, the recall? Uh, what happens in hypnosis with recall? Oh, that is another thing that people keep, I, I'll have like a hypnosis, a stage hypnosis show. Somebody, my, my volunteers will be amazing. Mm -hmm. They'll be like driving spaceships, right. blah, blah, blah. They'll come back to me at the end of the show and they say, they'll say, oh, I remember it. So I wasn't hypnotized. No, you are still there. Most people in hypnosis mm -hmm. remember most, if not the entire experience. Right. Some people, some people don't, but most people, I mean, your brain has, at no time has your brain left your body. Mm -hmm. You are still there. So, Ornman McGill? Yeah, Ornman McGill. Yeah, th yeah. so this this guy wrote a book called The Bible of Stage Hypnosis. Yes. 1947. Yep, yep. Encyclopedia of the Genuine Stage Hypnotism. Yep, that was the very first book I read on hypnosis. It's like this big, right. it's like a war and peace. Mm -hmm. and, Any um, pictures? Any, no, not really. There are a few pictures. There are a few. I think there are a couple images, but yeah. no, no. All right. So, so, so what are what are the takeaways from t for today's? Segment? Okay, what to know about hypnosis? You can not get trapped in hypnotic state. It is perfectly safe. All hypnosis is self hypnosis. You are not going to lose your memory. You are not going to be under the spell of some truth serum. It is safe. It is fun and you know if it were mind control you know yeah. you know it'd be going on right now right 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 if it were mind control i'd be at home right now with my husband jason momoa <laughs> i love it so it's not <laughs> i tell you amy's got a real busy schedule uh heading into this graduation season she yep. actually she has you know, the show tonight the next two shows four tomorrow, nights next four nights yep and then four more next week so i've got like right. yeah well, a lot of shows. You'll have to uh, bring us up to date on how those so, uh, shows uh, turn out. They've been doing really well. The graduates, 2022, they've earned it. Thank, thanks for uh, demystifying the, the myths myth of the hypnosis. No right. Yes. We'll see you next week, Amy. Thanks for coming to the show. Todd Walker. Entertainment, travel, and more. Hey, Todd. What's new? Todd. Happy Friday. Cheers we to the weekend. And, and here's to all the great things we did last mm -hmm. week, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, that's nice. really good. That is good. That's spot, really right? good. Yes. Flint Hills Family Festival is here. This is really exciting because it, it this was one of the biggest events that happened in St. Paul for so many years. Right over at the Ordway, they bring acts in from all over the world, mm -hmm. and it really is a treat to the kids. So right. the kids, everything they do outside in front of the Ordway, right there at Rice Park, uh, is free. And then there's very small nominal cost if, for some of the activities that happen inside the Ordway. Right. But it's really nice that they brought it back. It hasn't been here for mm -hmm. two years because of the pandemic. And the kids love it. They bring in school buses of kids from all over the mm -hmm. Twin Cities, all over the state actually. And, you know, adults go. I've gone yeah. every single year. And I mean, some of these acts that they bring right. in, Anthony, are unbelievable. So, they had people on stilts, yeah. they had people jumping off buildings, right. like with acts on sure. the buildings. It's really something to and see. And what is the art version of that? What is in, what, what's mixed in there? Well, they have, I mean, all these, uh, these are all artists that are doing performing oh, arts. Yeah. So performing arts. Okay. Performing oh, yeah. arts. It's, it's yeah. unbelievable and it runs all weekend long. It's really just one of those things, just don't miss it. It's and that is fun. free? Yes, it's free for oh, all these stuff outside. That's great. There's limited yeah. cost for the sure, some sure. of the inside activities. Great. Uh, Ordway.org. Yeah. Yeah. Train days 2022. Okay, this is once again, I keep saying things are back, but this yeah. is something else that we haven't had for a long time. This is so well attended. Kids love trains. Yeah. And this is train days right down at the depot, downtown yep. St. Paul. And it happens this weekend from 10 o'clock till 4 o'clock. And it's completely free. And they have train sets set up inside. They, you can go out and you can look at the trains that are coming in on the track. 
and it's once again something that's really well attended. I mean, come downtown St. Paul Park and then walk to some of these great activities. I, I can't believe in today's world that we still have uh, model trains. Yeah. Kid, well, kids are still, kids still intrigued by model trains. And I've gone down there a number of times. I've filmed different segments down there, and the kids just go crazy over this. When's the last time you were on a train? Um, like three years ago in Sonoma. Okay. okay. Yeah, right before the pandemic. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't think I've been on a train since I went to uh, Wisconsin Dells when I was a kid. Oh, you're kidding? No, I'm not kidding you. Well, it's time you'd go again. Yeah, I know. I love trains. Yeah, love it's trains. fun. Yeah. Uh, so then, <laughs> it's from trains... To All Star Wrestling? What is, is this All Star Wrestling? What is this? Well, wrestling? I'd like to have some, you know, the, the, what's going on here? Really diverse for our different audiences. <laughs> right? And this is wrestling that is going to be happening in an outdoor ring down at Kagan Case. It says patio. Yeah, so it's on the patio. So they actually set up a ring. And I was wrestling last night on a patio. patio. I don't want to hear about that. I don't think I want to hear about that. I'm not really sure that uh, you need to share what's happening on your patio. So then, so then, who wins? <laughs> I know, but this is going to be fun. And then they follow it with the concert. Yeah. So it's happening on Saturday at 3 o'clock, and it's $15, and you can go and just watch wrestling and then stay for music afterwards. I think it sounds <laughs> yes. like a lot of fun. Yeah. I'll leave it at that. Okay. <laughs> All right. good. And I love, I, love, uh, I love the 90s, right? Okay. This It sounds like everything that I'm ice. talking about is in St. Paul. Right. But it really is. This is I Love the 90s Concert. And listen who is the lineup is. Yeah, it's Vanilla right. Ice, yeah. Tone Loke. Wait, ooh, am yeah. I pronouncing that right? Yeah, no, you're right. Yeah, yeah Tone Loke. Yeah. Um, Rob Bass, yeah. Young MC, Color and Color Me Bad. Me bad. Yeah, we know Color Me Bad. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And this is all happening down at CHS Field. And this is on Friday. And it happens, starts at 6.30, 6.30 p.m. And its ticket prices are $29. And this is celebrating the 30th year of uh, fun at the, with the St. Paul Saints. Can you believe that stadium has been, yeah. or the St. Paul Saints have been around for 30 years? Yeah, I, I, can, I can believe that. I loved it when it was in Midway. Yep. I think this new ballpark is is It's fab. gorgeous. It's fab. It's yeah. gorgeous. And they're bringing in all this different types of entertainment, which yep. is awesome. Have yep. you seen a concert there? Yeah, I have. And, and what's the... The concerts are great. I think it's the atmosphere that makes it so much fun. But the yeah. concerts are good. The, the 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 excitement around the stadium is great, yeah. and the food is good inside, and they have yeah. food trucks. So this is going to be a fun, fun event. I, I love the idea. And so then at twenty nine dollars and fifty cents. Yep. Okay. Which is affordable. Same. To see that, I mean, let's go back to see just in its just seeing Vanilla Ice alone. I know. I love it. I love the whole immersion dance party. That's perfect. Yep. Um, this St. Anthony Park Arts Festival. I think every year gets rained out. <laughs> You're kind of right. Every You're kind year, of right. I don't know what it is, but it's always raining. I know. And it's not going to this weekend. No, it's not going to rain. No. So this is this is happens just Saturday. Yeah. And it's, it starts Three. at 10 o'clock. Yep. And it's right there at the St. Anthony Park Library, right. which is a beautiful library, by the way. 53 years. Yeah, they've been doing it for 53 years. And this is a, you know, this is the start of the art festival season. Right. But this one sounds like a lot of fun. Well, and these and are juried uh, artists. Yep. These, yep. These, they, they've gone through the rigor. Yep. Yeah. So this is going to be a lot of yeah. fun. So yeah. this is going to be a fun weekend. Sapfest.org for that one. Yep. And then uh, Bill Maurer. Bill Maher is, is the State Theater. Yeah. He is there on Saturday uh, at starting at 8 o'clock. Tickets start at $83. And, I mean, Bill Maher, great comic, right. Right. Uh, great political satire. Yeah, pl political. Yeah, yeah political. commentary. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So this is going to be a great show as well. So go down and see Bill Maher. Emmy Award State winning. Yeah, so yeah. State Theater. Okay. So once again, I know it sounds like I just picked things from St. Paul, but there's so much going on in St. Paul. Oh. But I had to throw Bill Maher in um, for his State Theater appearance. Right. But Seriously, come to St. Paul, park right here around Jaime's, right. and walk over to the Ordway. Check out what's going on at the Ordway. Then walk on down to uh, the Union Depot. Check out that. And then slide over to CHS Field to see Vanilla Ice. I mean, this is a packed weekend. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm excited, and I'm, I'm, I'm so happy to have you again here today. And we, we should have another oh, yeah. toast out, I'll, and I'll see you next week. Yes, cheers to the weekend. Get up and enjoy it. Exactly.